Welcome back for some time of prayer with the Daily Word and the Novena of Our Lady of the Snows as we go for nine days from July 28th to August 5th with our hearts, with Mary, and in the Word. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any ones who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, simple and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of the Snows, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Therese of Little Flower, pray for us. St. Eugene de Mazanat of the Oblates, pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We go through daily themes every day in our novena, as you know, and there's also longer videos of each topic that are on our website and then bulletin listed there. So we go down, we're at Tuesday, we're on the eighth day of our novena, and the theme is Mercy with Grief and Loss. Our scripture today is going to be a special one. It's not going to be the one that's usually, uh, you know, in the, you know, in the daily uh, liturgy of the Word for Tuesday of this week. I'd like to just use a two-word gospel for this particular part of our novena and our daily Word. Do you know what that two-word gospel is? Jesus wept. There's a lot in that two-word scripture, isn't there? Our, our theme of mercy with grief and loss, it reminds us of all the kinds of losses that we've had to face ourselves and the world has. There was a little girl and she was at a funeral home. She didn't even know really what the funeral home was. She saw grandma lying up in a bed or something and didn't understand. And someone had to explain that grandma's uh, going off to heaven now. And she thought, well, maybe grandma was going to get up from that bed and and, and go to the airport and take a plane or something. But she was kind of confused, but she came up and held her mom's hand. Her mom was just crying and crying lots of tears and didn't know what to say to her daughter. And the daughter was trying to think of something to say to her mom. You know, her mom was an older mom and had her later in life. Her mom had gray hair now and, and uh, so did the grandma, of course. And the little girl just said something foot and mouth like we adults say. Don't worry, Mommy. You'll be dead soon and in heaven, too, with Grandma. Yikes. Uh, you know, it was an innocent comment by the little girl. And, and maybe when we hear the scriptures that said life is like the grass and, and uh, comes and goes, um, but the word of God endures forever, that, that our life is meant for eternity, that, that life is short here on this earth um, from a different perspective and... I guess even from the little girl's perspective that, that, well, Mom, you'll go home to God soon too, right? Of course, the girl wasn't thinking much about herself and her own loss, just thinking of what to say to Mommy. You know, in funeral homes, uh, I uh, hear all kinds of cliches given to the uh, mourners, the ones that usually don't do any good. Um, well, God's not going to give you anything more than you can handle here, so, you know, or... Uh, so-and-so is now in a better place. Or someone will say, well, 
God closes the door and opens a window. Uh, you know, these things usually don't do much good for the people. I guess all that matters is that the person was trying to help a person in grief, though. Uh, you know, we turn to Our Lady uh, and we think of all the times that we've been in grief and in the grief that we're in present. And she is a mother and she wants to, to be there to help us with the grief. And she does know the right thing to do. And let's invite her to say, Mary, uh, embrace me in my need. And I think of Mary in the Pieta holding Jesus, but I think of also many images of Mary. She would have been holding the apostles. I think even in the upper room, before Jesus came and appeared to the apostles, I think that she was comforting them. And she did with this person in history, and she's come to help many a saint. And she's come to help us too. She's come to be our, our help and our comfort. As we get ready to do our healing, the Vena prayer on this eighth day, I think of a person that really needs uh, the ministry of Mary as mother and also the church as mother and also brothers and sisters in the faith are people who somehow have a distorted self-image or people who do not love themselves people who um, who just battle themselves and have a hard time loving themselves. I think that um, this is a, a special mercy that we pray that can come from heaven uh, to those who, who feel like left out and feel hurt for good and, and just feel uh, lost. And this is a prayer that we can pray for those people and you maybe yourself in some ways can pray this prayer. Lord, be at my side when I wander in darkness. Sometimes my life seems to have no purpose and I feel alone and lost. Help me to realize that as bad as I may feel at this moment, this day, and each day is a gift from you with possibility for change and for potential for happiness, peace, and a greater good. Bring me to an awareness of what I must do to relieve my suffering. Though I may not understand the reasons, grant me the courage and strength to do what must be done. I look to you always as my source of light, happiness, and peace. Amen. And that healing novena is really a prayer that we can make as intercessory to anyone who needed that, to hear that prayer, where our prayer can go out to the person where that applied. Well, we have one more day left of our novena, nine days of prayer. Tomorrow is the Feast of St. Mary Major, Our Lady of the Snows. Uh, we'll celebrate it with Masses in the Church at, at 7.30 um, p.m. and 9 a.m. And we'll have a little uh, cold treat after the Mass is over. Uh, social distancing, but having something together, uh, celebrating our completion of this prayer and celebrating the refreshment that God gives to us and through the channel of uh, Our Lady of the Snows. Good day.